All right. Uh, my last video I posted, I think y'all see me, uh, I traded in my last Silverado for a Ram 3500 dually. Well, this will tell you how much I like that dually and the Ram. Back to my Silverado, Trail Boss. I did like the diesel. I stuck with the diesel. I really like this diesel. It's a 3.0 liter inline six Duramax. I'll show you why I like it here in a little bit. Uh, just do a quick walk around real quick. Uh, not much changes for 2022. I know my 2019 didn't have this little stamp here on the side. Headlights are a little bit brighter in my opinion. Um, the fog lights, they put these this cool grill over it. And this is metal. It's pretty neat. Uh, still got the red hooks, which I like. Mine's equipped with the front camera. This little sensor is here is for the smart adaptive cruise control. Uh, basically, it like automatically brakes and keeps a whatever gap you choose uh, between you and the car in front of you, like three or four, three or two car gap, I believe. Um, underneath the Z71 package and Trail Boss comes equipped with this skid plates. This front one's plastic, the rear one's metal. Uh, there's another one a little bit further back, it's also metal. Uh, this, I, I got this, this is an option. It's the engine block heater for cold weather. It's pretty neat, it comes with the little wire inside I keep under the seat in that little toolbox. I got the Chevy stamp here as well. The side steps are not standard. Sorry, it's so dirty. I just want to get this video out. I should have washed it first, but eh, it is what it is as a truck. Got the 20 inch wheels with the Goodyears. Really like those. They look amazing. My last truck had 18s. This one's got the 20s. I think it looks a little bit better. Z71. Red stamped in there to kind of carry out that trail boss look. Here's a closer look at these side steps. Again, these were an add on, like $1,100, I believe, or something like that but they look really cool and they're really useful because i'm not that tall getting in and out of this thing is a lot easier another change i'm not sure if it's just because i got the 3.0 liter or if it is standard for the 2022 trail boss but this hood scoop it's a lot bigger a lot more beefier than my other truck i think it looks pretty cool you can see it from the inside too really nice another walk around again sorry the truck's so dirty kind of back up a little bit um, a couple of things I'm waiting on. One of the things are these, those uh, inner fenders right here. I really, really like those. It looks a lot cleaner than this. You can't see all the inside of your bed and stuff. So those are supposed to come in sometime in the next couple of weeks. Uh, another thing I'm waiting for is the chip. They sold the truck to me without one of the chips. So my smart cruise control doesn't work yet, but it is equipped with it. Uh, also, my heated and cooled seats do not work yet. And my heated steering wheel doesn't work yet. And uh the oh the parking assistance where it beeps at you whenever you're backing up and get too close to something that's not working yet but they said sometime hopefully in july i'll have the chip see the front inner wheel wheels are there wait for the ones on the back uh trail boss stamping not much changes back here uh, i put my toolbox in there just because i like to have the extra cargo space got my wolf take video sticker stay rad on that side uh, in the back, not much change here either. Uh, LED tail lights. It's got the little exhaust tips. The exhaust actually goes further into these tips than my other one did. I don't know if you could tell the depth or not, but it's like halfway through before it stops like about an inch outside of this thing. So this tip is, it actually does exhaust out of there. Uh, I got the pass-through trailer views so this is for your cameras your trailer cameras will connect to this that way you can see past your camera while you're on the interstate on that big beautiful screen they put up front uh, trailer connection the six pin they tucked up under here uh, probably because of this that's just to get the spare tire out just mounted underneath uh, let's see got the cool steps here which i use a lot because again i'm short uh, LED lights inside the bed. Also, there's some more LED lights up underneath the bed rail. 12 volt plug here. Bed liner. Back seat's got plenty of room. I got the crew cab. It's a little dirty still. Let's see. Got the armrest and cup holders. I like these little hidden compartments. Pretty neat. Um, when I get my car seats back here, they're not useful, but it's cool to have. Under the seat, 
the toolbox they call it. There's that wire to plug in the uh, the block heater. It's my license plate frame, which most people probably won't like, but whatever. Got some USB ports back here, and your vents are back here as well. It's regular cargo light. Uh, Bose speakers all the way around. There's one there, one here. Uh, it's got the premium leather package, so it's nice and soft. Again, I really love these bed liners. They're awesome. I'll right, move to the front seat and walk around to the driver's side. Uh, I'll do this side first. Passenger side. I don't know if, if it's what's up with these, but they don't fit quite as good as my other ones did. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if this is the a diff they changed the interior because of that bigger engine or what but yeah there's like a gap here this thing kind of moves around but it still covers from end to end it's got a nice bowl effect to it in case anything spills heated and cooled seats like i said uh, eventually little side compartment here is pretty wide cup holders uh, let's see it's got this little storage compartment here of course your glove box this is all plastic 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 and plastic it's got that cool leather look to it actually no i take that back i think that is oh that is leather sorry it's the leather here a little storage compartment on top of that beautiful giant screen full of fingerprints for you guys hope you love it i uh, got all these this rolls down all four windows at, at once i did it the other day kind of scares you if you're not ready for it I thought it looked like it was like to have multiple windows open on your screen. That's what I thought it was, but no, rolled in all four windows. It's a downhill assist, which is useless in my opinion because you can only use it at a really slow speed. I'd like it like at 65 going down a huge mountain. It'd be nice. Uh, but the smart cruise control does control your, your speed. It won't let you get go too fast, I guess. So I don't know. Some people might like that. Uh, turn off your traction control. You got your hazards, your lift gate. Uh, you can turn off the auto start. Then you have your rear park assist you could turn off, which I don't have yet. Which what I do have is the lane assist, which my other truck did not have. I really love that. It makes driving on the interstate or anywhere really a lot easier. Um, you can kind of go hands free for about 15 or 20 seconds before it tells you to get your hands back on the steering wheel. All the manual controls, that's your volume, and your control on that side and your power button for the stereo. Uh, I got the trailer brake package, so that's included here. Heated and cooled seats. Uh, it's got dual climate control, passenger and driver side. Pretty much, I think everybody knows what all these buttons do here. Heated and cooled. It's got the new USB port, which is nice and the old one. It's got your wireless charger, which I'm excited because it actually charges my phone. I got the iPhone 13. My RAM for some reason did not charge this phone on the on the charging pad it only charged my daughter's phone which is an iphone 11. this one actually charges my phone and my wife's phone which is nice um cup holders it's got another one of these this is basically mirrored on the driver's side this is new got the column i mean the sorry the floor shifter or center console shifter it's electric let me get to the driver's side and i'll show you a little more on that uh, a couple holders in the there those things actually pass all the way through ADD for you. Lights on the mirrors, also your turn signals, blind spot indicator. All right, my favorite part getting into the truck. Uh, when you have the key fob, it does this cool little welcoming. Oh, yeah, Trail Boss got the Chevy stamp. Pretty cool little display there. Center console, just got one big opening here. Tree on the bottom, LED lit. It's got a USB port there. Kind of focus. This is another 12 volt plug there. All right. Steering wheel controls not much different from 2019 uh except uh that's where you set your gap your four car sorry i'm sweating here just got done running uh over here you got your parking brake 
Uh, you can change it from normal mode and off-road mode, and that's, I believe that turns on your uh, trailer camera, I believe. I'm not, I'm not sure I've messed with it yet. Uh, Four-wheel drive controls. Uh, this dims and lightens your display up here. Headlights, fog lights, cargo light. Oh, I'm sorry, that's your fog lights. This is just your headlights controls. I think, I don't know if it... Well, that's your dome light, yeah. Instrument panel's pretty awesome, LCD. It's fully, fully customizable. Uh, this, is the way I, this is the setting I chose. Uh, let's see. These are little buttons here. Oh. It will not let you put it in gear until you put your seatbelt on. So if I try to shift, push this little button, try to go down. Oh, I lied. It, it let me put it in gear. Huh. Well, usually it doesn't let you shift unless your seatbelt's on. But it's being nice today. Uh, and that is in the settings. You can take it off uh, in the settings. Okay, uh, now the shifter is pretty neat. It took some getting used to. I thought it was a regular park reverse neutral drive, but no, it's electric. You just push this button here, click down, drive, click down again is low. That's also how you put it in manual. So you can, you can uh, with the paddle shifters here, which I've never used, but this truck has it for people that like it, it's there. Uh, go up, I don't think you have to push the button to put it in neutral. No, just push it up, get a neutral. If you push it up again, it will not go to reverse unless you push the button, then it goes to reverse. When you're in reverse, oh, there's my wife. You got your uh, rear backup camera, and then also your bird's eye view. Hold on. Bird's eye view over the truck, which is pretty neat. Uh, makes people look really tall. She's like four foot 11, so she's not that tall. Uh, anyways, what I really like is you put it in drive, camera stays on, you got your front view. Really helpful whenever you're parking. Uh, people like me that are short, you got that big hood, hood scoop, you kind of know, you kind of set your gap a little bit better, get a little bit closer to walls or poles, whatever the heck you're parking up against. Pretty neat. Uh, this is all, you can change it to. Uh, sorry, my depth perception's off looking through the lens here. You can go bird's eye view of the front, bird's eye view of the rear, also, you got your blind spot view. That's just coming off of the mirrors there. There's some cameras underneath there. Bird's eye view there. Then also your trailer hitch. And let's see what else we got here. Bird's eye view. Bird's eye view. And then back to the tr reverse mode. Anyways, I put oh push button park. So you don't use the shifters. You just push button. Then you're in park. Display is pretty cool. Again, this is all customizable. I really like. Well, here's the home screen. There's a, also a manual home screen button. You can use either one. You can access your cameras even when you're on the interstate. You can click them on. Check out what's going on around you. Uh, let's see. It uses Google Maps. It's pretty nice when you're driving. It same. It tells you your fuel prices and stuff. Gas stations. Just click this. Uh, I live off Interstate 40 here. Let's see, it tells you where closest gas stations. Same thing, uh, restaurants. So there you go, different place to eat here in Tucumcari. Uh, let's see, you also have your media. Um, you can switch between whatever you want to listen to. Uh, you got your AM, FM, Sirius, Bluetooth. Google News, podcast. I haven't messed with those things yet. Um, I, I use Apple, so I haven't messed with this stuff. I just use my regular Apple stuff, I guess. Also, USB, um, direct in. This is all interchangeable here. So you can have whatever you want there. I like the clock. I also have the clock over here. Um, all right, let's go through this real quick. I could probably do a more in depth video. 3.0 liter inline six diesel. 36 miles to the gallon when I was going to Amarillo the other day, 75 miles an hour with a little bit of a backwind. Uh, drops down to 16.3, that's in the city. This is just going back and forth uh, to work for me. I get on the interstate, drive a couple miles, get off the interstate. So kind of kills my fuel mileage a little bit. Um, 
but still not bad compared to the Ram. Uh, let's see, up top, this is your cruise control settings up here, or displays. Speed limit is also displayed. All that stuff's customizable. I could turn that off. I can make it plain. Again, I'll maybe do another video where I walk through all this, but I just wanted to get let you guys take a look. I've only seen the ZR2 on YouTube, and uh, this is a Trail Boss package. Um, yeah, hope you all like it. I don't know what else I can say about it other than I love it.